Well, this is a very interesting article. It was published on io9, which is a science website, on the 14th of January 2013. And it's in regards to free will. Do human beings have free will? Well, it goes on to say that scientific evidence is showing that we probably don't have free will. So, what does the article say? Humans have debated the issue of free will for millennia, but over the past several years, while the philosophers continue to argue about the metaphysical underpinnings of human choice, an increasing number of neuroscientists have started to tackle the issue head on, quite literally. And some of them believe that their experiments reveal that our subjective experience of freedom may be nothing more than an illusion. Here's why you probably don't have free will. Indeed, historically speaking, philosophers have had plenty to say on the matter. Their ruminations have given rise to such considerations as cosmological determinism, the notion that everything proceeds over the course of time in a predictable way, making free will impossible. Indeterminism, the idea that the universe and our actions within it are random, also making free will impossible. And cosmological libertarianism or compatibilism, the suggestion that free will is logically compatible with deterministic views of the universe. Now, while these lines of inquiry, inquiry are clearly important, one cannot help feel that they're also terribly unhelpful and inadequate. What the debate needs is some actual science, something a bit more testable. And indeed, this is starting to happen. As the early results of scientific brain experiments are showing, our minds appear to be making decisions before we're actually even aware of them. And at times, by a significant degree. It's a disturbing observation that has led some neuroscientists to conclude that we're less in control of our choices than we think, at least as far as some basic movements and tasks are concerned. At the same time, however, not everyone is convinced. It may be a while before we can truly prove that free will is an illusion. Barrett's sharp potential. Neuroscientists first became aware that something curious was going on in the brain back in the mid 1960s. German scientists discovered a phenomenon they dubbed Barrett Schaft's potential, or BP a term that translates to readiness potential. Their discovery that the brain enters into a special state immediately prior to conscious awareness set off an entirely new subfield. After asking their subjects to move their fingers, what were self-initiated movements, these EEG scans showed a slow negative potential shift in the activity of the motor cortex just slightly prior to the voluntary movement. They had no choice but to conclude that the unconscious mind was initiating a freely voluntary act, a wholly unexpected and counterintuitive observation. Needless to say, it was a discovery that greatly upset the scientific community who, since the days of fraud, had mostly adopted a strictly deterministic view of human decision making. Most scientists casually ignored it. But subsequent experiments by Benjamin Libet in the 1980s reinforced the pioneering work of these two German scientists. And similarly, Libet had his participants move their fingers, but this time while watching a clock with a dot circling around it. His data showed that the readiness potential started at about 0.35 seconds earlier than participants reported conscious awareness. He concluded that we have no free will as far as the initiation of our movements are concerned, but that we had a kind of cognitive veto to prevent the movement at the last moment. We can't start it, but we can stop it. From a neurological perspective, Libet and others attributed the effect to the 
SMA or pre-SMA and the anterior cingulate motor areas of the brain, an area that allows us to focus on self-initiated actions and execute self-instigated movements. So I will leave the article there for now, guys, because it's very long, but you can see where this is taking us, and it is quite interesting. I've often questioned whether we have free will ourselves. Personally, I believe we do have free will to a certain extent. I do think that we have some type of path that's penciled out for us, but we do have the choice of whether we follow that path or not. But I think that if we do follow that path, then that will probably bring us our most beneficial experience on this planet. Anyway, they are just my observations, but I found this article very interesting and definitely wanted to share it with you all. Well, I will, uh, of course, link the article under the video. And as always, guys, peace out.